Hey everyone, it's from Reggie. Welcome back to the channel, and yeah, welcome back to the One Piece reactions. Um, uh, if you want to read along, I am on chapter 919, and yeah, uh, again, an example of why I wanted to continue the manga is because the anime yesterday was really, really slow paced. It was like half a chapter, or like it adapted parts of 917 into combining into 918, half of 918. It was weird, um, but yeah, so. Uh, we're jumping into 919. This is another cover page of the proclaimed self uh, straw hat grand fleet We got Ideo, Hadrudin, Orlumbus, and Leo. So let's just continue So Luffy's leaving Tama it seems like to I'm a of the beast pirates. My name is speed uh, Oh, Okay, so he's leaving. It's funny how speed got introduced and immediately got enslaved by by Tama's dango <laughs> There's no reason for me to listen to you. Why is Speed listening to that kid? It's only natural for a servant to protect their master. <laughs> so she's enslaved. That's so wild. She got, like, not hyped up, but... Speaking of, in the anime, they gave her this banging OST. I don't know why. It's, like, super, like, rock-heavy. Big bro will never forget the taste of the red bean porridge and apple ate today. Aw. She's about to tear up and cry. I'll make sure my master gets to taste an apple as well. To the old man with that nose that I said hi. Um... I'm gonna keep this katana for a little bit longer. <laughs> he, every time he pulls out the damn sword, he punches. Like, he punches with the sword in his hand. He does, whatever. Uh, uh, I can't be a samurai if I one after all. And then Zoro's like, but have you been using it? You haven't even been using it. Let me take a look at it for a second. Seriously. <laughs> Zoro's like, yo, come on. I'm the swordsman. Let me, let me touch it. <laughs> God, I love Zoro. So then she's waving goodbye, see you later, and speed is off. The speed faster than Gazelle Man. That, that's, a, that's a power scaling, uh, or speed scaling video for another time. Let's go, I guess she didn't feed the Dango to make you her server. Oh, the, the, the big dog, I forget her name. Master Luffy Taro. Oh yeah, I forgot Luffy like announced himself. Thank you for the treasure ship. Oh, so everyone's pretty much happy. We've never uh, seen this much food before. My grandpa is healthy again. It's a gift from the gates of hell. Funga Oa. That's a sound effect. <laughs> My child became healthy. A benevolent pirate, how a revolting law says. <laughs> I did something good. Didn't we steal that food? That's an interesting topic because, like, obviously, law and all of them are pirates, but, like, they're good pirates. It's like Goku. Goku never explicitly states that he's like a good guy. Except for some weird dubbing where he's like, I'm the protector of the universe. Blah, 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 blah. But Goku, even when he fought Jiren, he says like, I don't like proclaim myself as a, as a hero of justice. So it's kind of like the same thing with Luffy and the pirate thing. So why are you coming with us, Kiku? Oh, um, I wanted to go and see Odin Castle. For She's hiding something. <laughs> Nobody is supposed to be at the ruins of the Odin Castle, so why exactly do they want to go there? Luffy Tato and his friends are good people, but I definitely cannot let uh, my guard... Oh, she's thinking in her head. Oh, that was her thinking in her head. Okay. Uh, once we get to the castle... That's not it. She's hiding something from his... Lu Zoro knows. Okay. The flower capital. All right. Uh, can any of you tell me when isolation is coming? I can lose. It's when a country was. Mm -hmm. Oh, so this is a classroom. Okay. Correct time. This is the first time I kind of see a school in One Piece. It's been a minute. Let's see when the country has been rewarded. A lot of evil people are evil. It's idea of the fall and it's an act of evil. The, there are many foreign countries around the world that have been the one country. Despite that in the past, there were fools who tried to open our borders. That looks like Nami. I mean, I know that's not Nami, but like. She's giving me like heavy Nami vibes as Odin and his nine red scabbards. Hey now, I didn't call and you got, oh, she's a snake. So she got a snake something. So she has, probably, she's probably like snake, uh, got a snake fruit or something like that. Get out of here, I didn't like to hear that name after all. As I was saying before, that occurred over 20 years ago. Okay. A hero appeared and was able to defeat those evil samurai. So obviously their history is twisted up. It was our Shogun Kurozumi Orochi. So. They were trying to open the borders to Wano, and then people revolted, and Orochi was like, nah. Orochi and Kaido. Orochi two sword style. Uh, yeah, oh, I got defeated. What the hell? He just hit someone. That's right, those evil people all died 20 years ago. Uh, 
I wouldn't say Nami, I guess. It looks more like her sister in a way. I don't know. Just saying shit. And that's how this country became the peaceful nation it is today. Oh. Lord Orochi is such a cautious man. Master... Master Kyoshiro, you're being too loud. Shut up, you idiot. Okay. Don't be such a coward. Even if they hear me, I've only spoken the truth. It is said that 20 years ago, Odin's wife stood in front of the burning castle and said this. This is dozing Kyoshiro. You are like the moon who knows not of the dawn. If there's one ardent wish that can be fulfilled, then it shall be the one where nine, wait, yeah, nine shadows are cast. Woven together through 20 years of moonlit nights. Only then shall you know the radiance of dawn. Wow, okay. That was just a curse made in desperation. But Shogun Orochi deciphered it as... What did he decipher it as? And he, oh, he just knocked out. <laughs> Is that, no, that's Robin. He said in... Tw oh, okay. So he, this is how um, Orochi deciphered it as. In 20 years on a moonlit night, vengeance will come. Nine samurai will appear, they will kill you, and open up this country's borders. We are now in the prophesied 20th year. That's why the Shogun is scared out of his mind, thinking that the ghost spirits of the Kozuki family will come to kill him. It makes me want to play along with him, because he, and he's laughing. What could, obviously Robin's always there to get the info. What could dead people possibly do to him. The samurai of the Kozuki family died 20 years ago. They were all driven into the castle and burnt alive. Ooh. This this country's history is very fascinating and dark. Uh, we're here. It's, it reminds me of the King Riku the whole thing because like the fact that King Riku got like uh, controlled by Doflamingo and then like literally killed all of his like people, most of his people, like it, it was insane. Okay, so she's crying. There's no castle here. I mean, it's, it's ruins, Luffy. Not, <laughs> not really in its prime. Uh, Zoro went off on his own as well. I'm amazed that he could get lost while riding. On Wait, he got lost riding on a fucking. You're all together on a dog. How did he get lost? What? God damn it, Zoro. I haven't seen him like. I mean, it's been a long time. But I haven't seen his stupid ass like get lost in a long time. This place is pretty creepy. That's because this place has been abandoned for 20 years. Oh, the graves. What? What the hell are these? Raizo, Momo, Kinemon, Kanjiro. So are they... Are they ghosts? Also, my dog bark. Great. Are they ghosts? Wait, why are their names on these graves? Did they die? Now that I think about it, it's been some time since we've been able to contact them, hasn't it? Okay. Where's Kinemon? He was supposed to wait here for us. He isn't here and hasn't been here for a while now. He's not here? Chances are he'll be here tonight. Just as he was last night and every other night as well. Wait, what? Wait. Why are you talking like he's a ghost? Why are their names on the graves? Tell me the full story. Does something happen that you don't want to talk about? It's not my place to tell you. No, 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 I'm done for. I didn't think I'd be able to come out of the bathroom until late at night again. What is happening? I think it's calmed down at last. Is this Kinemon? He looks, what the hell's wrong with him? Hey, Luffy Dono, I'm relieved that you made it here safely. My apologies for not being able to come and welcome you personally. Okay, so he's okay. Due to a certain blunder, I am currently experiencing intense diet rate. Did him and Beppo eat the same thing? No, no, wait. Beppo ate, like, fishes and stuff. What the hell did he eat? Uh, Traga, you're a liar. They are alive. When did I say that they were dead? What the fuck? What's... Oh, my God. Fucking misleading. Okay. I was trying to tell you that he'll probably come out of the bathroom tonight. Don't be so misleading. Exactly. Even Luffy's freaking out. Uh, tap who's there Master oh, it's the Kiku So Kiku's like saying hi to Kinemo. So what how does she know him? So Kiku knows Kinemo, okay, 
she's been waiting for so long why are you with them you didn't tell me that you were coming back even though i've been so worried about you that's so cool of you is lord momonosuke safe as well wait when did i guess i mean they left wano a long time ago right or whatever like when he went to go search for momo and um uh, this guy kanjiro Luffy's so are able to make it here safely okay look i've been practicing with this sword Oh, so Momo's been practicing. Oh, Momo, so you're there too. The old guy, old dog guy, uh, you know, Arashi. I guess he's talking about. But Momo, I'm glad to see that you're safe. It's been a while, Kiku. Huh, Momo? Wait a minute, Luffy Taro, that's rude. He's the. Uh... Ah, that's fine, Kiku. Oh, so yeah, because he's like the prince or whatever. Hey, we got the crew back! Oh, man, it's been a long time. Well, if it isn't Luffy. Oh, man, everyone's so hyped. So we got Chopper, Nami, everyone that was on the boat pretty much when they got separated. Oh, it looks like you guys were able to retrieve Sanji Dono. Hey, everyone. So everyone's back. Okay, so almost everyone's together. We're missing Frankie, Robin, and Usopp to be like the full Straw Hat crew again. You guys are super late. We searched all over for you. We were to find you. We oh, yeah. So, oh, okay. So they had his Viver card, so they know he didn't die. Mm. He has diarrhea still. Jesus. Now first things first, let's head inside to talk. Just save food in there. Straight from the farm that we stole from. Okay. Great. They gotta just they gotta eat and just talk. Sweet. What a dirty house. My apologies, but these rooms will have to be our base of operations. I mean, yeah, no one's going like to go see you guys. First of all, in regards to Lord Momonosuke, there is one thing that the that we have been keeping from you that I should tell you before we proceed. Okay. You guys have way too many secrets. Hurry up and spill it. You're holding back too much. Well, that's because I'm so sorry. Even if I tell you. There's Kanjiro and Raizo, from whom you are all familiar with. In addition to the three of us that are here, we add up to a total of five people. I'll put it bluntly, we have come from the past. Huh? The truth is we came from the Wano country of 20 years ago by traveling, f well, What? And then the chapter ends. I think. Wait. So, wait. Okay. So, I guess that explains their graves, kind of? So, so they got traveled forward in time, then the people that in, in that era would have thought that they were dead, so they put... Okay. So, that explains... Okay. Got it. And now we're on chapter 920, guys. So here we go. Um, another cover page. Oh, this time was a cover page request. Sanji and Zoro fighting in their dreams. Even if, so, in this one, Sanji beats Zoro. And is that does that even? Look? Okay, I see the knot on his head. Zoro, Sanji beats Zoro and got, got and got Nami. And in Z and Zoro's, he just beat. Be damn! What the fuck did he do? He shoved his head. In, he shoved half of his body into the ground. <laughs> Uh, so now, now we're on chapter 920, so we're starting up, here we go. So now we gotta talk about this fucking time travel thing, okay. I didn't know there was time travel in One Piece, apparently there is. This place was called Odin Castle, I mean, yeah, we know that. The real name was Kuri Castle, okay. Odin was believed by the, by the residents of Kuri, and therefore the castle was called as such, okay. So Odin was, yeah, Momo's dad. So they called it Kuri because of how, like popular or whatever the where the town was from or whatever or something like that but yeah it makes sense our master lord Oren was quite the wild card so he was like a rambunctious type of guy despite being the son of wano country shogun lord kozuki sukiyaki he got into violent fights one after the other and was eventually exiled from the capital okay <laughs> however at the time there was a place in the wano country that was considered a lawless area criminals and ronin exiled from their village wander about there Inform groups to rob and kill Jesus. That was Curry. Oh. Then young Lord Odin just showed up and pretty much with the man known as Ashura Doji. Oh shit. So he fought him, who was considered the most dangerous man out of all the evildoers in this land. In the end, Lord Odin defeated him. Okay. Young man came in and cleaned house. Shortly afterwards, he rounded up the ruffians in this land and raised them from their pitiful bad deeds. He forced them to learn how to be workers as it was a necessity for the construction of a town. So he built a paradise farm. Oh, okay. So he, I mean, obviously we knew he created all this pretty much. 
and I got like overtaken. It was then that he was bestowed the title of Daimyo of Curry at the young age of 20. It was a monumental achievement for Lord Odin. God damn. We're always learning about people and their use and just how much they just wreck shop. I guess Zoro, it doesn't matter that Zoro's not here because, well, one, I would love to see his interaction with the other crew because it's been so long. But I guess it makes sense because Zoro already knew because obviously there's that one panel where he like told like Law like, or told Luffy like, yeah, it was hard for me to believe too or whatever. So Zoro already knows what like what's popping off. He created rivers and he connected villages and people together. And Lord Odin had to have a saying thing. This one thing is too cramped here. Jeez. Okay. So yeah, he pretty much like unified a whole bunch of shit. So, and Zoro just killed the tiger. Okay. Where in the world did they wander off to? Where the fuck is he? Hello? I'm amazed that they could get lost even while I was riding on that Koma Inu. Oh, it's a wharf. Maybe I should catch a rule. <laughs> Zoro needs to stop catching rides because he's just going to end up... Oh, hello. You know, Arashi. For Lord Odin, the Wano country was a little bit too cramped. How nostalgic. Now remember this, that, uh, this is that beach. No, I don't accept for Lord Odin's. Oh, so they, when they... Oh, so they ended up there and then they got saved by Odin too. That's dope. And uh, nice of Odin to be like non, like, you know, discriminatory. <laughs> okay, so now we're figuring out what's up with the gravestones. Whitebeard was charmed and Roger was captivated by that samurai of the Wano country. No fucking, what, really? I mean, I guess it makes sense that we're here. So what happened to Odin? Our beloved Lord Odin was taken to the flower capital and executed as a criminal. What'd you say? Don't joke with me, that's dirty Orochi. Luffy just destroyed something. <laughs> All of this happened to the courageous Lord Odin over 20 years ago, but in our eyes, it was only a few months ago. The brave warrior Kozuki Odin's final moments. When I close my eyes, I can envision it just as if it happened yesterday. Whoa, okay. Now we're getting into the time shit. It's pretty impressive that you guys were able to escape safely from such a crappy situation. But at that point, no one was on our side. In desperation, we escaped with all our strength and left the execution site. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Niko, Nokomamushi and Inuarashi started to argue it out. They were caught by Odachi subordinates and we believed their lives to be forfeit. But at that point, it did not matter who died. We absolutely need to get out of get to Odin Castle. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. However, Kaido anticipated our plan and the castle was set ablaze before we could reach it. Jesus. Lord Momonosuke and his younger sister, Lady Hiyori, were stuck inside the castle. Lady Toki, Lady Hiyori, along with their mother, Lady Kozuki Toki, okay. Now this may sound hard to believe. There have always been rumors that Lady Toki was born sometime in the distant past. Hello? Wait a minute. Is this a time devil fruit? It's impossible for people to travel to the past. How? This is her talking. However, traveling to the future is very possible. I've been traveling further and further into the future using this mysterious time time ability. So she ate a time time fruit and she could travel forward in time and not the past. So she's just been time hopping. Hello? And finally, I've arrived here at the terminus of my German, uh, journey. Sorry, Lord Odin, there is, therefore, this is where I shall remain. Sh could we stop it? If traveling into the future is truly possible, this is 20 years ago, this kingdom on, then we will definitely fulfill Lord Odin's wishes. We will definitely take down Orochi and Kaido and open up this country's borders. I'm leaving Momonesuke in your hair. What just... Like that, just like that. Is this a dream where are we? Where's the castle? What about the fire? And what about Lady Toki? Literally, they just got they just got transported into the future, like without even them knowing. Monosuke is where's his mother? Worn out grave. So the tales of Lady Toki's powers were all true. Then they just got immediately sent into the future and, and to look upon their graves. That's so wild, bro. We were truly in an unknown world, an unknown world. In order to better understand its current state. 
There are factories lined up row by row, countless smoke. So yeah, everything just changed for them pretty much is what uh, Kingdom One's saying. We realized that this was no longer the Wano country we once knew. Uh, we were uh, we would be unable to find people to fight alongside us. Oh, there were still loyalists, huh? You're like Kozi is that correct? I am Jibuemon of the Kibi, a former retainer of the Shogun. 20 years I've been waiting for her. Here for 20 years, I believe Lady Soki's words and waited here for this day. Yeah, so her words pretty much, it's kind of like, it reminds me of like when Roger was like saying like, oh, the One Piece, or like finds his One Piece, whatever, it kind of just set everyone out. But like, like Lady Toki's words like, pretty much gave everyone a premonition or like a message like, if you wait 20 years, long time, <laughs> but you'll, fi you'll finally get your revenge or whatever. My mother, Lady Tokyo's last words indicated that the Kozuki family would rise again in 20 years. Okay. But what about his sister, Monosuke's sister? That's not right. I searched for the remains of the nine red scabbards. I was un unable to find them. Damn. Even though there's a one in a million chance, we had hoped that you would appear 20 years from that day. Jesus, so they, they like instantly got teleported. You must gather us. So they're gonna get people in secret. Yeah, that makes sense. If he causes a commotion, shit's gonna pop off. No, da, da, da. we entrusted Kiku with gathering intel on the enemies and as on us for, as you already know, set out to recruit. That's why she was nervous about going to Odin Castle. Even the country is also a crime as we are leaving, they spotted us and began to pursue us. Oh shit. Oh my God. So they left literally without any navigator. And then that's how they were parted with Rizo. So they lost their vessel, got separated from Rizo. I like how it's kind of like going over like the past events too. So then we barely escaped him with our lives. We ended up drifting to Jess Rosa. And then this, oh my God, Momo got on the wrong ship and they parted with Kanjiro and then Kanjiro stayed on Jess Rosa. <laughs> and then he went after Momonosuke and then this leads to Punk Hazard, right? Yep. And <laughs> when we were at Punk Hazard Caesar, another one of Kaido's pawns was there. I was dismantled by Law Dono. Oh yeah, when Law was undercover. <laughs> oh my god. He was now our ally. It was truly a desperate situation. And that is where I met all of you. And then obviously we know that re the rest is history, as they say. That's pretty cool. Thinking back on it, we went through crisis after crisis, but it was absolutely a blessing to meet all of you. Wait, I just realized, so if, if Momo is a dragon, does that mean he, his is a subsidiary of Kaido's Devil Fruit? The only reason I know Kaido's fucking Devil Fruit is because the opening of the anime literally showed you what the fuck he can do. Like, they, they full on just show you his design. And uh, even though it's dope, I'm like, well, I know now. But. So, is it. Okay, that's interesting. Thanks to that, we haven't been put on any wanted posters. Uh, and I've been able to re enter the country without anyone suspecting a thing. So the most important part of this plan is to not be exposed, which uh, anytime the only not no anytime that they do stealth in One Piece, it never works ever. I'm trying to remember a time while I'm reading, uh, but I really can't. And so our current forces are this. Oh, this is a squad right now. The Straw Hat crew led by Luffy Dono, the Heart Pirates led by Law Dono, and two groups from the Mink tribe. The Musketeers, led by Inuarashi, and the Guardians, led by Nekomashi, Nekomumushi, Nekomamushi, sorry, as well as the Samurai we have recruited with the will to rebel. Ideally, our forces would need to be 5,000 strong. However, waging a war is not our intention. Our goal is to gather information and complete secrecy and take the commander's head. The plan will commence in two weeks time on the night of the fire. I'm getting excited of the fire festival. We will commence the raid on Onigashima where Kaido resides. Okay. Ooh, that gave me chills. God damn it. That, that's so dope. All right, we're going to continue. I'm, you know, fuck it. We're going to do this. is going to be a, like an almost an hour long reaction thing. But fuck it. We're going to read two more chapters or three more. We'll see how fast we go through this one. But I want to continue reading. I want. I really want to catch up. So let's let's just blow through it. So we got the. This was the Shonen Jump page at the time with uh, Luffy and Zoro posing up with their swords with Kaido in the back. Um, we got a spreadsheet of uh, most of them are waifus except for Big Mom with the Tokyo Girls Collection outfits. I guess that's pretty cool. Dope. Dope colors. I love everything. 
This is the decisive battle will recur at Demon Island Onigashima. Okay, that is Kaido's headquarters. We know that. Uh, okay, so this chapter is called Shuten Maru, which I got again. The anime literally like organizes shit weirdly because like in the in the last episode, I think they gave a hint of how Shuten Maru looked like. They showed him like when they were talking about him again when uh, <clears throat> this guy when they were fighting Helmond or whatever. Do I have to sail to that place even though we're already in the Wano country? Indeed, we possess a ship that can be used for this mission, but the island is close enough to be seen from the country's shores. Okay. I mean, it literally looks like a, like a demon horned island, so whatever. A decisive battle will occur during the Fire Festival. It is a grand festival that is celebrated annually by the residents of the capital. Okay. Consider Kaido to be a wise king who protects his country. Well, he protects the people that he wants to protect. On the day of the... F it's funny because, like... Everyone that Luffy fights are more pirates than himself. Like, he's a benevolent pirate, like they said. But it's so weird. Because whenever a pirate puts something under their protection, it always, like, the country always suffers. Like, Big Mom and Fishman Island, and then Kaido and Wano. But, like, Luffy, he took over, like, whatever, uh, Fishman Island. He's not gonna, like, tax them and shit like that. He's just gonna leave them be. <laughs> On the day of the festival, Orchi and his shogun uh, procession will go to Onigashima to pay their respects. However, that is nothing more than a facade. This is the plan. The beast pirates and the government officials will have a banquet on that night. I see, so we'll beat up those idiots while they're in a drunken stupor and then we'll take down their commander. Maybe Okiku will fall in love with me. Oh my god, Sanji. You just met her. Once she sees my gallant form, uh, instead of being in love with that perverted samurai. But Sanji, she's super duper strong, huh? No, no, you have misunderstood, son. You already have a proper wife. Kiku is only a like-minded ally. Uh, Otsu, Otsuru is his wife? What? You met her, yes, without her even recognizing me. I see, I'm glad she's uh, alright, but I cannot reunite with her yet. Wait, how old is Otsuru? What the hell? She didn't look that old. So, it's been 20 years. She should be like in her 30s or 40s, roughly, around that or more. Why the hell is a married man like you so popular? I'm so jealous. <laughs> Nami's like, you're too loud. Okay. All right, now I have depicted the decisive day uh, and place on this paper. Uh, at the Habu port, when twilight comes on the night of the fire festival, our plan shall commence. Nice. Reading over going the one in crescent moon. Oh, that's a nice little tattoo. That'd be pretty cool. Mm, two birds symbolize twilight. Don't worry, the could more be such as yourself that's the time between 5 30 and 6 p.m okay we must spread these cards out as quickly as possible to those who have the mark of the crescent moon on their left ankle that mark is the wolf rebellion they are our allies okay so between 5 30 and 6 30 is the plan got it or the the commencement i have sent your follow uh, fellow comrades at various places around this country in order to ensure these cards get to as many of our allies as possible Zoro Juno Dono and Uso Hachi Dono are currently stationed in the capital. Ah, then I guess Zoro hasn't been very useful. <laughs> guess not. On top of that, to ensure we don't get lost, once we land on Onigashima, I have sent Franosuke Dono to work as an apprentice of the man who built Kaido's residence. Oh, shit. His goal is to obtain the blueprints of that building. Furthermore, to make sure that we know the movements of Orochi's army, Orobi Dono is trying to get closer to Orochi. Oh, shit. By masquerading as a geisha and making him want her in his sitting room. I've heard that she's already made a reputation for herself. Wow. Okay, sweet. So that, I love how everything was set up. Like er er everything had their moment. Nami Dono's weather techniques are practically ninjutsu. I'll be a female ninja then. Uh, with Sunny Dono's coming, we'll be able to draw in crowds of people and find those. Oh my God, he's just excited at Nami being fucking dressed as a, as a, oh, hello. Hello, Nami. <clears throat> I guess he should have been excited because I am. <clears throat> Karadona, Charpadona will go with Kiku to Inuarashi's current location. Kinemon and I will. Uh, Kinemon, I want to be a ninja too. Let's just put a leaf on your heads. Oh my god. She had like the old school ninja idea on her head. Here we go. Clothes, clothes, juicy. What the fuck? So Kinemon is like li literally fucking. Um, What's it called? Uh, fucking like demon, like King Pick, like Piccolo, where you can just create clothes. Why is my darking bark? My dog barking outside. Oh, my dog's okay. I don't know what happened there. Anywho, all right. Now that you have the blended one with the culture, so this has just been 
bear with it. That's why this has all been pretty much like an information dump. So, what are you saying, Kinemon? Is this really what a Kunoshi should be wearing? That is the and he's nose bleeding. Now let's call upon the person who will guide you. She is a real Kunoichi. Shinobu. Oh, Shinobu. Tap. Real Kunoichi, what a treat. At your service, she's just completely dead. <laughs> My man created... He did a jutsu and he gave them like fucking... Not really ninja outfits, but okay. Uh, Sanji's trembling all over in shock. Oh my god, he literally got so stunned up how different the real, like, ninja is. Rest in peace, man. There are two types of Konoichi. Hmm, I wonder if I'll be able to close this up. She's... Nami's really trying to cover up cleavage when 90% of post time skip she's been, like, in a bra. But okay. Well, Shinobu is... Interesting, to say the, to say the least. Foo foo foo, isn't it fine since you're so young? My name is Shinobu. In the past, I was, no, I was Kinemon's protege, but now the technique that I excel in and most better is the art of bewitchment. Of course she, of course she is. Sanji is so defeated right now. If it weren't for Nami-san being here, my heart would be shattered already. <laughs> I understand your pain, young man. Attractive older women are lethal weapons after all. Cut that off. Now then, everyone's gonna go to their respective areas until the, air, the uh, plan comes to for us. The time comes for us to gather, rather. But first, and most importantly, we must discuss the three samurai in particular that we need to find. If we can locate them, there'll be an asset worth a hundred men each. Okay. The names are Kawamatsu, Denjiro, and Ashura Doji. Oh, the guy that uh, Odin beat. Okay. Okay. So they're looking for Ashura Doji and and, and what's his name? Kawamatsu Denjiro and or Kawamatsu and Denjiro. Okay, so Ashura Doji was a guy that Odin beat, and he was the quote unquote strongest. So I want to see him. The Atamayama thieves are here. Run, escape from the town. Give that back. It was given to us. Oh shit! So they literally. Oh, these aren't no. These aren't Pyrocardos, Kaidos, man. These are just people that are just thieves. Oh, this is the Shuten Water Group. They've got fruit, wine, ice, who they think they are. Please give it back. I was going to feed that to my grandson. Shut up, Grams. Drop that already. Okay, Shutemaru did not look nearly as cool. Or, he looked way cooler the way they trying to tease him in the anime. So I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> who in the world would do something like this? Is there some chump out there pretending to be a hero that gives people food? What a short-lived act of heroism. Damn, they, already, they literally just got the food and they already got it stolen. That's fucking GG. It was rendered moot as soon as we came to steal this food. There are no longer any samurai left to protect these pitiful weaklings. This country no longer has any real men. That strong samurai can follow anymore. The Wano country's days are numbered. Even if you continue to live, you will win is only the cruel truth. Man, she turned on those ugly, fat, and big. I'm pretty sure this is just maybe due to him being lazy and over time just fucking, you know, whatever. Please wait, please stop to see these. Run, grandma. I'm gonna kill her now. Wait, what? I believe in Lady Otoki's final words, but she's a dead person. Okay, Master Shutemaru, he's... Wait, what? Oh shit, Jack! So you finally meet leader of the thieves. A pirate named Straw Hat Luffy should be in this area. Jack riding, what the fuck is that? Is that an alligator? A shark? A sharkigator? So Jack just rolled on in, okay. Jack the drought. If I tell you I don't know him, will your attitude change? Shutemaru's not shaking though. We've only left you alive this time because Kaido-san wants you to be his subordinate. Then here's your answer. Oh shit. Yo. Yo, why is Jack always getting fucking so he got, oh shit, he got slashed immediately. Ooh, and they clash. He cut Jack, he sped up blood. What an incredibly high level duel. Oh shit, Shutemaru ate the, it ain't no joke, holy shit. Move away from them, Shutemaru. Shutemaru and Jack have started a fight. Okay, this is the and Okobori Town is going to be destroyed. 
I didn't die back then, so there's no way a small fry like you is taking me down. Master Jack, <laughs> holy shit. Over there, look at the sky. Oh, wait, the sky is swirling, okay. What is that swirling in the sky? Why? Why did the sky change so suddenly? I wonder if it's about to rain. No. Hey, Straw Hat, yeah, get over here right now. What's the matter? I didn't read it yet. I just saw the image. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. The sky, something is up there. This is bad, Straw Hat. No way. Why is he? Hey, Jack. Oh, shit. From the sky, sir. Bring those brats to me right now. A dragon, who the hell is that? That's Kaido! Fucking Kaido! Just shut up out of nowhere! What is happening in this town? This is all Luffy's fault for fucking fucking with this town. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. <sighs> okay, I was just gonna end it there. But to be honest, that cliffhanger got me sweating. So we're going to continue chapter 922. So start reading along with me if you want. Um, this is a cover page with Koala and the Kung Fu Dugan. She's teaching them uh, fisherman karate. Pretty cute. And the name of the chapter is Beast Pirates Governor General Kaido. Ooh. <laughs> I was going to leave it. But like I said, I, that finale like really, really, <laughs> really got me hyped. So strap in for a long episode, guys. Kaido's a dragon? What the hell is that? And then everyone's just freaking out now. He's able to transform into a dragon. You can see him in the background. This shit's so crazy. I don't know if you guys can see it too well. Uh, if the light's too bright. Um, but pretty much, in like from their perspective, you can just see the silhouette of Kaido. It's massive with his own like clouds. Lord Momonosuke. Oh, he transformed into a dragon. I was say maybe Momon. I think Momonosuke's smile fruit was based on Kaido for sure, because there's obviously only one type of devil fruit per you know whatever. So uh, I shall explain why he became like this later. The kingdom was talking to everyone else. Luffy notices that that's a uh, Okobore town. Why did he come to Curry so suddenly? Oh, uh, I don't know. Was it Luffy beating Helmon? Was it Jack coming through after he got notified that he got beat? Was it that Hawkins and Law also got exposed? I don't know. And was it Luffy threatening him and Jarrus Rosa or like destroying his factories? I don't know. Maybe that's why he's here. <laughs> My apologies, Kinemon. Yeah, pretty much Law's apologizing for everyone fucking up. <laughs> you straws have no right to say that to me. Blah blah. blah. Um. Uh, it was definitely Luffy's fault then. Yeah, I mean everyone's fault. Yeah. But on the other hand, that was all that happened. Kaido was making weapons in this country and had an underground partnership with Doflamingo and Caesar, where you know this, creating the artificial uh, devil fruits on his smiles. <laughs> yeah, we were the ones who destroyed the production factories. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I'm responsible for sending Doflamingo the buyer to rot in jail. We were the ones who picked this fight, so of course he's after us. Well, yeah, there you go. Basically what I said. <laughs> Mine and Straw Hat's heads. Luffy, where are you going? Lu wait. Luffy, without question, is running straight towards Kaido. Is he dumb? I mean, Luffy's strong, don't get me wrong. This is obviously after Katakuri and everything. He got gear 4 and everything. I don't... Ah, that's still, that's still a warlord of the... Or not a warlord, that's the emperor of the sea. Don't go after him, I'll go. If we're exposed any further, they would know that all of the Straw crew and the Heart Pirates are here. There'll be a huge manhunt to take us out. Think carefully. <sighs> Luffy never thinks we were the only ones discovered so the plan is still fine understood what well, well well what will you and the other two then do then I want to just turn a blind eye to this but Straw Hat has already bonded with the people of this country if he is blinded by his emotions and acts recklessly our plan will be over it, it, he's gonna be blinded it's it's Luffy if we aren't able to gather enough people it's just something for yourself. you guys must not be seen oh Oh damn, that was smooth as hell. He roomed and popped himself uh, far away. 
What the hell did he do in the few hours that we were apart? Damn, Luffy. Well, he picked fights, and now he's gonna get the repercussions. Bakura Town, Master Kaido's here. I don't think he. Per I didn't think he'd personally come here. Says Hawkins. Well, yeah, me either. <laughs> is it because of me that he come to execute me? No, I don't think so. Halmond or whatever your name is. I think it's because he got beat. Uh, Kabata Town, run away, escape. This town's gonna. Kaido is massive. It fits him because he was already a massive bodied person, but his devil fruit, he's like a, he's, oh my God, he's fucking crazy. Atama Yamati is retreating to the forest this point is to try and find him. Well, yeah, no shit. There have been rumors that a pretty strong thief has been hiding deep within the forests of Kurdi, Shuten Maru. Oh shit, he's talking directly to him. I remember you. Oh, fuck. He's in such deep shit. Oh shit, he, did he try to fight him before? Foo he 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 hick. Oh, is he drunk? But that's enough about the past. If you become my subordinate, hick, I'll forgive you for your cry. Yeah, he's drunk. Kaido Sanoe. Oh, yep, he is. <clears throat> Idiot, I ain't drunk. He's totally drunk. <laughs> my man's. I think he literally. Okay, never mind. He probably came here randomly because he's drunk. Master Jack, I'm trying to stop your bleeding, so please don't move. I thought it was weird that he would suddenly appear in Curry. We won't be able to escape in time. Perhaps I should prepare for battle. Sh is Shute Mato that strong that he can that he can square up? Apparently. The residents of Okobota Town are the factory's workforce. It would make it would somewhat make sense if he was coming to set an example to warn the citizens, but if he's drunk and goes on a careless rampage, Curry will be completely decimated. Damn it, it's still too f or so far away. Oh my. Oh my. God. Yo, okay. Straw hat, yeah, Tarao. Do you guys think uh, Okobura Town will be alright? You fool thing about the current situation is because you wanted to do something good. Why didn't you tell me sooner, Kiku? You must head back. I will go save Sudo. I'm sorry, Master Keen. I can't believe she didn't marry someone else to protect herself even after 20 years. Loyal, loyal woman. Uh, General Kaido, if you are looking for Straw Hat, Luffy, and Trafalgar Law. Hmm? Oh, what a snitch! They're at. Man, what a bitch. What a. Fuck you, Hawkins. What a bitch you are. They're at the ruins of Odin Castle. They are hiding there. Hawkins, is that true? At Odin Castle? No, I lie, so that he would stop his rampage. However, there have been rumors spreading around lately that about a suspicious sight that was seen from the top of the mountain. If that rumor is fanning the flames of Lord Orochi's fears, then the destruction of those rooms will allow us to kill two birds with one stone. Okay. Did you say that they're at... Oh my god, man. You're telling a dr... How nostalgic is certainly a good place to hide. So that's where they scurried off to the ones that took away my smiles. Those detestable rookies. I mean, are they rookies at this point? I guess compared to his experience, they're rookies still, but I won't let them get away with this. Whoa, Hig. At the ruins of Odin Castle. Yo, I love what I what I love about the uh, the manga so far is the imagery that like every time they put a faraway shot of what's happening right now, you can always see Kaido in the back. He's so massive. Uh, he's coming this way, no way, Wolf. Did he notice us? There's no way he'd notice from that distance. No, he's definitely coming this way. <laughs> run, you be, I, I'm gonna run. Oh shit, he passed right by Luffy and... Heat breath. <laughs> he just... He just launched a fire wave, like a Kamehameha wave, but fire, and it completely destroyed the ruins. Holy shit, okay. What the fuck? He can, in a single second, wasn't even close enough to get him sober. He's wild, bro, holy shit. Hmm? Wait. <laughs> wait, wait. Hmm. Well, wait, Luffy disappeared. 
Gomu Gomu no. Oh, you, he went right on top of him. He's right above his head, elephant. He just decked Kaido in the head, bro. Okay. Yo, Luffy ain't playing around. Okay, we're. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I definitely needed to keep reacting. Okay, we're on the last chapter for today. I promise you, this is the last one for today. <laughs> There's gonna be more uh, Prairie Tuesday or tomorrow. Or I'll put Villain Saga up tomorrow or something. I don't know. But, anywho, chapter 923. If I'm gonna start reading now. Emperor Kaido versus Luffy. This is a cover page request. Luffy, Ace, and Sabo children playing insect wrestling. Oh, they're like, <laughs> that's pretty funny. This shit looks intense. Sabo's has his shirt off and everything too. <sighs> okay, here we go. Emperor Kaido versus Luffy. Ka Luffy punched a dragon. Look at this fucking panel. Ah, uh, I don't think it'll focus. Kind of, yeah, you can kind of see it. Anywho, make sure it focuses. Okay. Oh, Master Kaido's falling this way. Leave the town. I mean, I like how Luffy's like, I want to save the town, but then he just punches a fucking dragon straight in the head and makes him land. That was close. Leave the town now. What happened? What the hell was that? Hey, look over there. That's the guy who sent the yogas in Uroshima and Master hold them flying. Yeah, I mean, those two are weak as shit, though, so. Yeah, run. He laid a hand on Master Kaido. I hope they're alright. Please tell me they avoided it, everyone. You guys head back to the mountain first. Master shoots him. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, you're damn right you have a bad feeling about this. Master Speed, please hang in there. What happened? Didn't Master Speed leave this town earlier? She just came from the direction Kaido flew in from and collapsed. Umami. No, yeah, that's the wrong thing. Hey, why are you... Oh yeah, what happened to Tama? Wait a minute. You got her home safely, right? On our way, Master Kaido saw us. But she tried to fight Kaido. I wasn't able to protect my master. Fuck, dude, wait, so what happened to Tama? So she got taken? What are, oh my God, this is pissing Luffy off more and more. Oh, this panel. What a fucking panel. I didn't read it yet. What a fucking panel, bro. Look at this. I don't know if I'm gonna get monetized. That cursed a lot in this video. Look at Luffy. Fucking, if it can focus, probably not. But you see Luffy posing up and then Kaido's face curling around. What are you doing? You best were getting out of here with that huge body. He probably hasn't figured out what's happened yet. Are you trying to ruin our plan? If I beat him up now, the plan will be finished. Oh, he is fucking mad. Kinemon's allies and my crew as well as yours. We don't even know if they're safe. Kaido, I'm over here. And he's drunk. He's looking this way. He looks drunk, doesn't he? He didn't even feel the elephant gun, bro. He did not feel that elephant gun to the dome. That shit did not hurt. Your name is Luffy. I'm the one who will become the king of the pirates, the pirate king. No hesitation, just fire breath. He just launched and killed probably everyone there. Holy fuck. This, I swear, this is going to happen and, and I'm going to predict probably like three to four weeks in the anime wise. Three to, no, three to five weeks, I say. They better get Sheeta, their top animators. I don't give a damn. This episode is going to be one of the best episodes in One Piece next to the Katakuri episode because damn. So he came to the Wano country, Hick. He's trying another elephant gun. Elephant Gatling. Oh my god. Okay. Right on his, like, pretty much his, like, neck, body area, like, close to his head. What the hell is with this guy? Master Kaido's getting pummeled. He's punching him in the face, the stomach, the jaw. What a fucking battle, bro. And then Kaido falls. Oh, he went, he transformed back to human. Master Kaido, are you right? General Kaido. 
mm, and he's like, he just got up. That bastard, he oh, wait, that bastard, he transformed, he bulked up, he's coming this, yo, he wanted the gear four, what? Oh, oh, yo, imagine doing a Gatling, then automatically just going, no time for bullshit. Yo, Luffy, I gotta give credit to Luffy. Luffy not doing any bullshit and just going for the kill. This is this is fucking cool, man. This is really really cool that Luffy's just going all out like no like like he's trying to end this. He's not bullshitting around. He's not delaying. Gear four of Bowman in that Wano outfit. I need that as a as a figure. Gomu Gomu no Kong Organ. I like to add. Kaido is not bleeding, scratched, nothing from an elephant gun, Gatling. Let's see how he deals against a Kong organ. He's getting pummeled, bro. Luffy is just wrecking him. Oh my god, what a panel! <laughs> Look at I keep trying to show you guys, but it keeps getting blurred. Punch, oh my god. Luffy's getting gas though. He's fucking like going to town. Luffy's yeah, he's wheezing. He's running out of breath. I think he that's the longest he's ever done that Kong organ. That's a long time. I had to put that on my phone. My man Kaido really straight up said sigh. And got back up after a Kong organ. <sighs> Is Luffy about to get massacred? <laughs> Hold on. Is he even bleeding at all? Divine Thunder. Is that he has hockey on his mallet? He just one shotted Luffy. He just one shotted Monkey D Luffy in fourth gear. And not only that, he did not have a single scratch on him from an elephant gun, Gatling, Kong organ. All, I mean, it's not a King Kong gun, but Oregon is pretty much one of his strongest attacks considering it's gear fourth power getting in a Gatling form. I know King Kong gun is probably his strongest physical attack from that in that form. But getting repeated hits from Kong from the Bald Man form is not an easy thing to shrug off. Katakuri could barely, like, let's compare it. Katakuri was able to block, but he still bled from Gear 4. The only one that really even beat him, like strength-wise, I think obviously Gear 4 was stronger than Katakuri, but Katakuri had observation hockey, whatever. And he also started getting that dice mochi and shit, which at that couple with his observation made him almost impossible to beat until Snake Man. But the few times that Luffy did get uh, Katakuri get, get tagged by Luffy in Gear 4, he bled and he started to bleed and it hurt him. Kaido did not give an inch. His, he legit, and we're gonna finish that there. He legit did not flinch at all at the prospect of all, or at the sheer power that Luffy displayed. And he instead, he, re, oh my God. That, that episode better be animated by Shida, Takahashi, whoever, you, Ryo Onishi, get your Sakuga and all your shit, bring that in, cause, oh my god, <sighs> Luffy, oh man, I don't even know, a, a one shot is just like, it's crazy to see your, see your MC just get one shotted, oh man, Kaido put him down like the kid he is. That's like when you get, when like you're a kid and you think you're an adult 
and then your mom just fucking slaps you in the ass with the fucking belt. Well, I'm Spanish because that's what happened to me. Slaps you in the ass with the belt and sits you down. Then you realize like <laughs> how much how much weaker you really are. <laughs> Whatever, man. That I'm so glad I decided to continue. I wouldn't be able to contain my hype. Anywho. That's the end of this reaction. I know it's pretty long. It's about an hour. It's five chapters. Now we're on chapter 924 and we'll react to that in the next set. Why is my nephew freaking out now? Really? Anywho, at least it's the end. So I'll see you guys in the next one. And for Villain Saga, I have more reaction than Batman shit. Oh, I need to read that chapter again. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Take care. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, my Snapchat. Follow me. My, uh, uh, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe for you. Share the video if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.